I visited Archer's flight testing facility in Salinas, California with Messler and Chief Commercial Officer Nikhil Goyle. Goyle co-founded Elevate, Uber's air taxi division, and co-authored the 2016 white paper that laid out the vision for a commercial air taxi industry. He explained how advances in technology have brought that vision to the brink of reality. Instead of using fuel and one large rotor like a helicopter, you can use batteries to power a dozen rotors. So on the Archer Midnight aircraft, you see 12 rotors, six in the back, six in the front. All 12 of those let you take off vertically just like a helicopter, but then these six on the front here, they tilt forward. And what that does is it lets you power forward flight like an airplane in tandem with the wing that's on our Archer aircraft. We made the decision early on that we were only gonna invest internally on key differentiating technologies. And clearly the powertrain is the key differentiating technology. You saw our investment uh, is a recurring investment with respect to the, the powertrain team, the battery team, which is part of it, the engine team, the electric engine team, which is part of it. And we also have a lot of non-recurring costs uh, with the other uh, with the other components because we're not developing those internally. We're using the existing aerospace defense uh, supplier base for most of the other components. The midnight testing aircraft was built at Archer's manufacturing facility in San Jose, around the corner from its corporate headquarters. We bifurcated the production system such that San Jose is really a test lab and a low-rate introductory production plant. So we'll build our first minimum of six aircraft out of there. We're currently building uh, Covington, Georgia, all the way up to uh, Phase two will get us to 2,300 aircraft per year as well. So. Why spend the money on both? Why, why, why bifurcate, as you put it? Well, it's optionality for us because we're going to see what the market bears out. Nikhil and his team will be out developing the market, so I have a call option on that phase two. Phase one, I can, I can uh, ramp up to as the market supports. At the core of Midnight's commercial appeal is the passenger experience. It's designed to seat a pilot and four travelers plus luggage. The test aircraft isn't fully fitted out for passengers, but it's easy to imagine what the ride would feel like. All right, this is it. This is inside midnight. Welcome. The design is four passenger seats, front row, back row, and one pilot. How, after all this time, did you arrive at that configuration? Four passengers, one pilot. Our goal is to be the Uber of the air. When I was at Uber, we took all the data of Uber trips going back and forth all over the world. And what we figured out was that four passengers was the optimal configuration to do one thing, which is lower the cost per passenger for these trips. So with four passengers, just like a sedan, you can split that cost amongst four passengers and make that equivalent to what you might spend on an Uber or a taxi. Right. And there's a lot more to it from a financial standpoint than just the passengers, that's one fact. We also look at capacity on the route. So we understand what the cost of the aircraft is. We understand what the cost of the pilot is. We understand what the cost of the uh, repair and maintenance of this is. We understand battery costs. All of that feeds into our unit level economic model. And it does show that pricing at ride sharing prices allows us to make uh, an economic profit on this. 